And some say you can still hear the blue smoke monster howling in the night. Ooh! Spooky story! Very spooky, Mo. Thank you for sharing it. Hey, how about we lighten the mood a little bit with some music? I brought my guitar here. Well, I've been working on a little song. Have either of you heard of the scientist York Simon Ohm? I haven't. No. Fantastic. Edubot, throw me a G chord, please. Will do. Simon Ohm was experimenting, and he happened upon something very interesting. He found that volts and current are related to each other, but it's not like they're cousins or sisters or brothers. It's a rule that we now call Ohm's Law. You can't break Ohm's Law, because it's always true. Say you're working in a circuit and you need a certain current. 10 milliamps from a 9 volt supply. How many ohms will give you those amps? You don't have to guess or take any chances. Just apply and rely on Ohm's Law. You can't break Ohm's Law because it's always true. Divide voltage by current okay. to find the resistance. Got it. Resistance uh -huh. times current right. will tell you the volts. Excellent. Divide voltage by resistance. I can do that. To find uh -huh. the current. Nice. And that's all that we call Ohm's Law. Wow. So you really can't break Ohm's Law? No, you can't. Like, not even sometimes? It is always true. And to find one of the values, I just need the other two. You've got it! You can't break Ohm's Law Because it's always true To find one value, you only need the other two Oh yeah! Bravo! Yeah. Great song, Minerva! Thank you, thank you. So good. Hey, did you guys hear something? Uh -huh.